Hi everyone, it's Sarah or Lovely Day here with a Wine and Dollies video. So it hasn't actually been that long since I've done a Wine and Dollies, but um, I do have some things I can talk about and a couple of parcels to open too. So the first parcel is from Belichick's Doll World over on Etsy. It is a, um, a doll wig, maybe two, <laughs> let me explain. So I bought one from them a while ago for my um, incoming Miro doll Lily. I'm pretty sure I talked about that in the previous one and dollies, so if you're curious about that, you can check that out. But anyway, I got that wig and then later I saw they had added more to their store, so I went and I bought two more. When I checked tracking, it said that the one that was sent more recently had arrived first. So I'm thinking that's this. It didn't even say it had arrived, it just, the tracking seemed further along and when I checked my PO box, this was in there and as far as I can tell from the labeling it just says Dolwig there is something next to it that might be in quantity but it just looks like a one from tracking I would assume this is the most uh, recent purchase I made which has two wigs one for Ava and another one for a doll which I will talk about more later but yeah I'm just gonna open and find out it's either going to be a wig for my Lily who isn't here yet or a wig for Ava and another doll which yeah we'll talk about that then but um yeah so let's open this up um, it's an alpaca wig obviously I went a bit wig crazy and have bought quite a few natural fiber wigs but um yeah I really like them and since I got that one for Millie um, I kind of made the decision that I wanted to have all of my dolls in natural fibre wigs. It's expensive, but um, I do prefer them, so yeah. Alrighty, okay, it does look like there are two wigs in here. I'm not sure if you can see, but um, there's also a bit of paper. That's probably my invoice. It's not an invoice, it's alpaca wig info. Um, Yep, I'm sure I'll read that later. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, so this is my most recent order. It's kind of strange that the other one is not here yet, and yet it was shipped a good two weeks earlier. Oh well. I'm not too worried. It actually works out nicely this way because it means Ava will have her wig, um, and my Lily, who isn't here yet, well, she can wait. It'll be here by the time she gets here anyway. The shipping tracking did say that other one was in the country, so yeah. All right. <laughs> so this is a brown 8.5 inch alpaca wig, and it is for Ava, and it's in a little knitting thing. It's very cute. Oh wow, she's actually braided it. That's not a bad idea for shipping. It has foam or something inside the head cap to help hold its shape and oh my gosh okay it is beautiful it's quite a warm brown which I like and the part isn't as deep as my other um, alpaca wigs but I think that'll be quite nice since it won't look you know identical to all of them all right I'll show you a bit closer it is tricky to kind of <laughs> appreciate what it's like when it's off a doll, especially when it's all braided. I might undo those because it did, um, and I'll get this out of the way, I don't need that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll take this band off. It is a rubber band, so it's to be very careful as to not tear the fiber. It's quite a good idea so that it will actually have those loose waves like in the picture, I should be unpeeling these from the bottom, not the top. It's very, very soft. And it's the first one I have that is actually just one plain colour, as opposed to something with multiple crazy colours. Okay, now it is a hard cap wig, which is what I've had in the past for my alpaca wigs as well. It does seem like there is less fiber than the ones from Maishka, but I mean it still looks nice and full. So I will get Ava, 
and then we'll put it on here and see what it looks like. I'm quite excited for this because as much as I like her with the pink wig, um, I, I mean, when she came to me, she had that really dark black type one, which I mean, I was never too much of a fan of, but I preferred it to the pastel option. Now hopefully this will fit on her head because she's got quite a giant head. Her head seems to be a bit big. Okay, doesn't fit. Let's consult my instructions because I'm sure there's something in there about making it slightly bigger. This is the woes of a hard cap. It means that, you know, if it's slightly too, um, too small it won't quite work but um, let's have a look so it says that they um, are flexible and can change the shape to suit round heads or more oval shaped heads but they do not offer much stretch uh, there is a way to stretch it using a blow dryer warm it up uh, and then try it on the doll okay I might try that then I'll go and do that with my hair dryer and then I'll be back <laughs> I submitted. Um, all I did was heated it up very slightly, zipped back in, and then plonked it on her head. And it has made it, I mean, I suppose, soft enough that it just worked. Oh wow, she's such a cutie! Oh my gosh, guys, I need to get a little toothbrush to um, help with styling this because it could do with a very slight brush but guys she's so cute I'll show you eventually don't worry but holy moly okay I need to figure out exactly how to put it on her head because I feel you know like with her forehead I could I mean, it may or may not be too far back, but um, having just plonked it on her head, this is where it sits. <sighs> Guys, <laughs> I'm so glad that worked. I was a little bit worried there for a minute, but um, surprisingly, that was super, super simple. I just held the wig in my hand with the hair, you know, in my hand and the inside of the cap facing up. Blasted it with my hair dryer for literally like 10 seconds if that. Brought it back, plonked it on her head and it fit very easily. It's just gorgeous. <laughs> and I'm really impressed with how um, like flat it sits on her head. Um, I suppose that's the good thing about it not having too much fibre because it does just sit really nicely. I'm not sure if I've got it sitting on her head in like the perfect spot for her. Um, I'm sure that's something I'll figure out in time. Because I mean, I don't want to give her too much of a forehead, but at the same time, I don't want it to be too far forward. I do think that this is about right, but time will tell. I'll probably watch back over this footage and find that it's not quite right. But um, in the meantime, here is Ava. She finally has her own natural fibre wig, having... Um, Kind of been left out with the um you know the newcomers all having wigs sorted and then nothing for herself wow she's just so sweet i mean i did contemplate getting something with wild colors for her maybe something that was blue on the ends but at the end of the day i just wanted her to have a warm brown like a a, a dark but warm brown and because she's so so sweet I wanted her to have something that kind of reflected that not that colors aren't sweet but yeah I don't know how else to explain it but yeah <laughs> she's so cute guys like seriously look at her isn't she just adorable with this wig I mean she always was adorable but this is just something else. Wigs are quickly becoming my most favorite thing about these dolls, eh? It just makes them, them. The amount of personality they get from their hair. It's just incredible. And look, she can even put that behind her ear. 
Wow, she's so cute. Okay, let's have a look at the other wig because I did get two. I will sit here there for now. Oh my gosh, I can't. She's so cute. Okay, um, so the next wig has a little bit of a story behind it. It is um, the same size as my Lily who's coming in. So Lily could have this, but that's not why I bought it. So I have this grand plan <laughs> where, um, so a friend of mine, like my best friend uh, since primary school, like honestly we've been inseparable for so, so long. Um, she doesn't have any dolls. She doesn't really get it too much, but I obviously have been sharing her pictures of my own dolls and when she comes to stay I will kind of <laughs> hand her Claire or hand her somebody and show her all the clothes and the details and the wigs and she has definitely showed some interest. <laughs> um, she really likes you know all the little details all the stuff you could do. She does um, do a bit of sewing herself and I keep on saying like, you would be amazing at making these clothes like just, I imagine she would just love it so much but um, obviously where do you start as a newbie and um, you know it's a lot of money to drop and all that sort of thing so um, it's a bit of a risk I suppose but I really really want her to get into it so that I can have my closest friend be on this train with me. So <laughs> when she was here last um, we were looking through all the different companies all the different things because obviously she had no idea um, what was out there and wanted to know more about it so I was trying my best to show her the different companies the different sculpts different sizes all of that so she could get an idea. She ended up saying that <laughs> and I don't know how to quite word this but um, essentially she said that you know she really liked them but if she was to get a doll she would want one that kind of looked more like herself and by that she kind of meant not a stick thin doll like Millie so I was very quick to show her Summerbird and in case you haven't heard of Summerbird they're on YouTube she's made a doll just one so far it is called Viola it's I think the head sculpt's Viola, I'm not sure, I mean the body came with it so whatever, but it's MSD sized, it's beautiful, it has the most gorgeous curves and it's just a stunning doll you really should look it up. So I showed her Summerbird's videos where she's going through the process of sculpting this doll, talking about you know what she did, why she made it, all of that. I could tell <laughs> my friend just loved that doll so I um, kind of took a mental note and this kind of went on and we were both marveling over this doll but I knew that there was another pre-order coming up for this doll it's actually at the end of August so um, my plan and it may or may not happen because obviously money is a factor but my plan is to hopefully put this doll on pre-order for my friend so that, um, and it may or may not be ready in time for her birthday, which is on the 22nd of December, but um, I mean, I messaged Summerbird and she said that, you know, maybe, maybe not, don't count on it, which is kind of what I suspected anyway, but I mean, you can only try and it's a pre-order is a pre-order, I'd have to do it then, I can't really pick and choose. So um, yeah, I'm hoping to catch the pre-order to get um, one for my friend and if I am able to I would actually like to get two so one for myself and one for my friend um, Summerbird has since made another face sculpt I think its name is Mystique so I would get Mystique for myself and then Viola for my friend and we would both have you know <laughs> different but matching little dolls that we could like you know do stuff and it would, it would just work I see it working maybe I'm crazy um, I'm always one who likes giving gifts, um, often gifts that are a bit too much, but um, uh, I don't know, I would, um, I mean we always go crazy for each other's birthdays and don't half ass it. We don't really give each other Christmas gifts, um, past just a box of chocolates, but um, I always like to make a big deal out of her birthday as she does mine, so yeah. Anyway, 
this wig, I saw it and I thought it would be one that would match her doll, her Viola, if I ever did that. And even if I didn't, I'd hold on to it and I'm sure I'd use it at some point and it would also fit on my Lily. So, once again, it has little ties on it where it's all prepped so that it will be nice and curly. I'll just leave it on this for now so it's nice and safe. But it's kind of like an ombre, so it's blonde at the very ends and it's a darker brown at the top. Um, a nice wavy type of wig. The size of it is actually 6.5 inches, which on Belichick Doll World's site is for any. And any is known to have a smaller head. I think she's sculpted by um, Rakuro Sensei, something like that. Um, not that that matters. So I don't have a doll for this, but I'm hoping it will go on the doll that I get for my friend. If not this year, uh, at some point. <laughs> and even if that doesn't happen, it'll fit my Lily, even though I've got another one in line for my Lily. She could always have a swap, so yeah. I am going to leave it like this because I don't have a doll for it. And I do want to preserve those neat little curls. So I'll put it back into its little netting and wrap it back up and put it somewhere safe but yeah that is that i'm so happy with that wig on ava though it just looks so so sweet and she finally has her own fiber wig yay okay enough rambling about wigs i will open my next parcel and if you've followed me for a while or have seen my other videos you will probably recognize this packaging it is from Cherry Dolls Boutique. Love this store. Um, I have opened so many things from it that um, I even have like a little series almost on my channel opening, you know, things from it. I figured I would open it in this wine and dolly's because why not? <laughs> but yeah, so in here there's a little note saying thanks again. <laughs> um, and one thing I noticed straight away, her packaging has changed and it's so cute. As you can see, everything is still packaged individually, but this is new. There is like a special sticker with what I'm assuming is her new logo. I'm wondering if that's Usagi, her smart doll. I think it must be. Very, very cute. So all of the little parcels have that on them now which is really cute. So you had a quick glimpse then but I got three things that are all SD sized. I'll just get started with this one. So this was listed on her store as a white sheer net hold top. Um, you'll soon see why. <laughs> I saw this and just thought it was super super cute and would be really handy for layering different items of clothes which I do love doing anyway. I say it every time but the smell is just gorgeous <laughs> but yeah so as you can see it's a cute little sweater type thing except it's made of a lace so you can actually see right through it um definitely won't be putting it all in this with no bra on or nothing underneath i mean unless i wanted to of course but it might be a bit risque um the neck and the sleeves have their own little i don't know it's like a jumper proper lined thing. I don't know how else to explain it, but if I hold it close you might see what I mean. It just has these bits around here which make it look super super professional. I mean, things from the store always look very professional, but um, yeah, it's really unique too, which I love. Uh, the next two things I got are both sweaters. This one is a printed sweater with little cactuses on it. Now, um, I'm a sucker for prints and things like that, especially if they're cute and doll size. But, um, yeah, so this is a little sweater with little cactuses on it. Super, super cute. It has the same sort of material on the neck at the bottom and on the sleeves. And the pattern continues on the back. Super cute. Alright, the last thing I got from the store is a jersey that is very similar to um, the big jerseys I've gotten before. It's a sparkly silver jersey. 
Um, it was listed as a silver grey shimmering bat wing jumper. So yeah, and the other one was a smiling cactus top, which it definitely is. So um, yeah, those are the three things I got from Cherry Dolls Boutique. I do need to do another video where I show the clothes I have for my dolls, since the last time I did that was about a year ago, and I've bought a lot more clothes since, and also because that video, for whatever reason, is my most viewed video by a long shot. I don't know what it is, but it has had like over a thousand views, it's quite crazy. And I don't think I was doing anything, you know, special in it. It was, you know, one of my very first videos and I'm super shaky and super, um, you know, just new. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm doing, but people seem to like that video and view it a lot. And yeah, so I, and probably overdue for doing another one since I do have quite a lot of doll clothes now. I mean, I used to keep them in a little box and now they're all in this and that isn't even all of them. And I have a few more on the way because I can't help myself. I actually uh, bought a bunch of clothes from a store for my MSD girl who's on the way. I think the name of the store was um, sort of M. Hang on, let me look it up. Mobinjo? I think that's how you say it. But um, yeah, so I got a bunch of clothes from there. <laughs> there are a lot of things I could show you clothes wise, let's just put it that way. So um, you've possibly noticed behind me, I have Millie sitting here and Ava is just so cute. <laughs> so cute, oh my gosh, I can't, guys, I can't. But um, you might notice Millie here and she's not looking quite as sweet and pastely as she once did before. And I must say, since having this wig and switching her eyes back to the purple, I am getting very different vibes from her. So all of a sudden she seems to want to wear a lot more black, but I'm just rolling with it. So it means that all of those pink things I got specifically for her don't necessarily jive as well as they did before. I'm sure she could still wear them, but She's just, um, you know, begging to be put in darker colours at the moment, so that's that. And meanwhile, Claire is sitting over here and she used to be, well, I say used to, kind of still is, my girl who really likes dark clothes. But, I mean, as you can see, she has these leggings on which are not dark and, you know, plain at all. And I'm almost thinking that her and Millie have somehow swapped. <laughs> All of a sudden, um, you know, Millie wants to wear darker things and Claire is looking more comfortable in lighter things. So I do not know, but um, I'm still going to roll with it. We'll see how they go, but in the meantime, yeah. I mean, I've always said that I'll just figure it out as I go and change my mind as I go and make mistakes and little things up and you know not necessarily stick to any one thing but it's quite interesting since I have had Claire for the longest and initially I did put her in more coloured clothes but I quickly discovered that she liked darker things more and now though that Millie's kind of stealing part of her wardrobe it seems like whether it's by choice or not she's decided to Kind of branch out and wear more colorful things so um we'll see how that goes maybe rather than things that are super colorful she will just have more whites and silvers and things like this so i'll probably try them on her but yeah i do like claire in more baggy things recently more casual things like the sweater from Cherry Dolls Boutique, as is the leggings and the t-shirt. I was not kidding when I said I had a lot of clothes from that store, but um, yeah, that's where they're at. I might just pick up Ava again and hold her because I cannot get over her with this wig on and she needs some love. <laughs> so um, yeah, what else can I talk about? I suppose <laughs> the elephant in the room, um, my orders, my dolls that are coming in. So, in my last Wine and Dollies, I talked about April Story and how I hadn't heard from them in a long time, how they had gone radio silent after giving me a date. Um, nothing has changed, unfortunately. I did make a post on uh, BGD Edicts on Facebook, kind of asking, 
you know, what should I do? I can't remember if I talked about this in my last Wine and Dollies or not, but I came to the conclusion that I did need to keep messaging them, as annoying as it was, and if it came to it, be prepared to threaten a PayPal claim. And I really don't want to do that. So I messaged them just saying I was so tired of being ignored and got nothing. I even mentioned, you know, if I need to, I will make a PayPal claim, you know, if it comes to that. I thought I would hear something, but nothing still. So I messaged them again, just kind of saying, come on, I don't mind waiting. Like, honestly, if it means that it's going to take, you know, another month or two, that's fine. I just want to hear something. And that's where I'm at. I still haven't heard anything. So, yeah, unfortunately, no more news on that front. Mirror doll, however. So, um, last I'd heard from them, they said my doll would ship within a week. And it has been <laughs> that week, unfortunately. They did make a post on their Facebook that they had sent out a bunch of orders. They listed the order numbers, mine was not on there, even though they'd said the day before, because I had replied to them and said, hey, you know, how's it going, because it had been the week, and they said, oh yeah, all good, we'll send your doll tomorrow, and tomorrow came and went, they made that post with order numbers listed that were not mine, so I was like, damn it, <laughs> what's going on? They did say that their face-up artist is um, unavailable at the moment, something about their partner or someone being sick, which I get, although my doll does not have a face up, so I should not be affected by that. I emailed them back to just kind of say, so what's going on? <laughs> because I want to know, and I also messaged them on Facebook, and at this point I'm feeling like I am that really annoying customer, but I don't want to be. That's not what I'm trying to get at, I just, if I made promises by someone, and then they fall through, I want to know why. I don't mind if there's a good reason, because I'm a reasonable person, and if something goes wrong, then that's, that happens. But please just tell me, because, you know, for one, it's a service I've paid for. So, I mean, I'm kind of entitled to know, and I went into it knowing I would wait, but um, if you tell me it's going to be done by a certain time, I'm going to expect that. Um, I don't think it's unreasonable. I definitely don't think it is, but um, but yeah. So that's where I'm at. I was really hoping that I would have a doll arrive during my holidays because it's school holidays at the moment. There's only a few days of it left. Well, I mean, I suppose there's about a week really. But if they're to ship it now, it would probably arrive when I'm back at school. So it doesn't really give me much time outside of school to do stuff so I mean I was hoping to get them in the holidays so that I could you know do their face ups get them all sorted do all the videos without having to worry about doing all my planning and stuff it doesn't always work out that way as we all know but hey at least this wig arrived even though it was sent after the other one which I'm waiting for but the one I'm waiting for is for my Lily, who I don't have, so it's totally fine anyway, and Ava has hers, so... It's all good. Once again, don't mind waiting if there's a valid reason why. Um, what else have I done? Hmm. I finally did finish Nikki's drawing, which I'll put a picture of here. Really proud and really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks super, super cute. It's nice drawing something cute once in a while, so... There's that. I have got the footage of me drawing that, so I'll probably put together the I Draw Your BGD video for it in the next week. Anyway, I don't think I have too much more to say, but I would like to thank everyone who has entered in my giveaway. Uh, you've still got plenty of time if you haven't done that yet. It ends on the 13th of August, which is just under a month away. It is my birthday. There are two places you can enter on Instagram and here on YouTube. You can enter in both if you want to. And if you want more information on that, just head over to my video on this channel and I will explain it to you there. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. It has been lovely and I will catch you in another video sometime soon.